What's up people, welcome back to another live reaction of Attack on Titan. It's been so long since I've done this. I stopped it like six months ago, so we have like six or seven chapters to catch up. So let's go and get started. So this is with chapter uh, 90, no, 86. So this is, they basically just went to the basement and they went and see there's a thing called photograph. So they finally figured out that basically the world outside the wall is much better than inside the wall. So this rise a lot of questions like so why the hell they're living inside and how they like go against titans and why titans only attack inside the wall what's happening so this is all going to be answered probably soon so let's go and check this out so the first page of sorry i can only show you on the phone because of copyright reasons so yeah i truly hope the first person to hold this book in their hands will be my be one of my people hurry up fey wait up big brother if we don't hurry, we will miss it. Hold it right there, you two. I told you a thousand times not to forget your armband when you leave the house. Krisha. Oh, okay. So this is basically Aaron's father and his sister. Armband. What is this armband? Oh, is this like the armband basically? I don't know. I read it somewhere. It's like a... Okay, I will find out. But I, this is my prediction. Basically, this armband might be the one that's tell you what class you are. Like if you are high class, low class... You, Probably something about that. Grisha, no matter what, don't go outside the walls. Understood? Don't go outside the walls. So they live in walls too? Okay, so Attack on Titan. So this seems like this is uh, Eren's grandmother. So, yeah. That's Eren's grandmother. And let's see what's going to happen. Okay, so everybody wearing this band with like a... This tat like a star on it. So if you look at this band properly, it's like a there's a shape on it. So wonder what this is. And there's a ship flying ship. Oh shit! So they're really advanced. So they have um what is this ship? If you saw Hunter x Hunter, you probably saw this ship often. I kind of forgot what's this airship. That's what is name in our universe anyway. So when I try to think of a proper begin to this story. Memories of that day were that first came to my mind. Got it, mom. We are off. So everybody is leaving and they are all wearing this armband. So everybody in this place, they are wearing the armband. That day in my childhood, when I first came to face with the brutal reality of this world. Oh, okay. Well, this is Attack on Titan. So I'm not surprised to see at the beginning of like something really messed up. So... I don't know this if you see this page probably like everybody knows it's kind of weird though like the one in attack like a titan so i don't know if that's that like a trade outside the wall so it's like compared to Aaron and stuff their nose is kind of like a like a peak i don't know if that makes sense so uh looking at it is like okay so everybody is like just walking around and they specifically point out there's like an airship so be careful, Grisha. Look where you are going. Oh, sorry. Okay. Amazing. How does it fly in the air like that? It's filled with hy hydrogen, which make it float. They say it's propelled or powered by battery. Really? Who is writing it? Probably some rich guy. Oh, okay, so they are not part of the rich. So they are like this i wonder why this airship didn't go over the actual wall or i don't know if something happened let's see hey ah oh, it's flying must be nice would i would i able to fly an airship if i get rich one day don't be silly there's no way we could get ever get rich yeah but oh it would be great wouldn't it i wonder what you can see from up there ah dude okay so Aaron's father family is basically not that rich. But what's happening right now? So if you look at this airship exactly, it's going over a wall. So if you sorry, if you look at this, that's like a wall. So they probably can see the Titan, and I'm pretty sure the Titans cannot get to it unless it can jump that high. Assuming there's like a goal alloy well, those variants, basically the one actually controlled by human, those titans they probably will be able to jump up and smash that ship, but I don't know let's see uh okay so that is basically like a military base so this wall is different this wall is like i don't think anyone is allowed after that wall so it's like okay it's gone 
Let's go, Faye. So, see, see, really worry. She really want to fly. See, look almost like Mikasa in a way, but except she have a really round face instead of Mikasa have a, like a sharp, um, like a shaped face, if that makes sense. Let's go, Faye, huh? Okay, so this is the wall I guess they are talking about. I don't think they're allowed to go further than this wall, so let's go and see what's the next one. Is my teacher said the airship's land landing site is not too far off. Let's go and have a look, huh? But my mom said we can't go outside the wall. Don't worry. Just for a minute. What? Hold it, you two. We will be right back. Oh, okay. So they did. Well, this is Aaron father all. I can see where Aaron got his um, genetic, like mainly who he's from. Like basically his father is reckless as for Aaron. We will be right back. So they just run through the wall. Okay. So when they run through the wall, what's happened? Get out of the way, you rats. Oh, shit. These guys are nasty. They just literally smash him with the suitcase. I'm like, what the hell? Look, look at this. Like, they don't give a damn if the children. He, they just... Anyway, let's see. What are two of filthy blood... Oh, okay. Filthy blood rats like that even doing around here? Grisha, it's fine. We are used to this, aren't we? Wait, 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 wait. The panel, if you look at the last, like the last chapter, when you see for his father and uh, his mother and stuff, well, great, uh, Aaron's great, no, Aaron's granddad and grandmothers and his father photo. It seems like they are living in a fancy castle. So they did get eventually rich. So, okay, so for now they are poor. See, it's right there on the on the other side of the river okay so they can see the airship so they went to the wall I mean we went through the wall so the went after the wall it's like where Titans and human were in this the place they are living in is like a rich and poor so there's like a wall between rich and poor I don't know why this wall is involved so much Trump so right now we look at the airship so it's going into like a parking place if you can see and these two are just looking from there I'm pretty sure something gonna happen right now it's so big. You two are here to see the airship too. Yes. You two from the liberator get a huh? Show me your exit permit. What's an exit permit? Damn. So these guys like these guys like this soldiers, and you can see from Aaron's father eye right here on this panel. Like he seems really worried because these guys probably gonna do something stupid or nasty oh shit huh um, okay so they came up we don't have it you went into the city without no permits huh yes you know what happened to the people who do that which will it be hard labor or physical punishment punishment Krisha hmm? do you want to call cause your parents trouble huh I dragged my little sister out of her against will too. So give me her share of punishment too, please. All right. Dude, these guys don't hold back. One more. Have some mercy, Kruger. Here, I will take the little girl back first. Holy shit, dude. These, I swear, Attack on Titan never failed to surprise me. Like, they have no such a thing as holding back they kill everyone and this is what happened to a child like literally and i'm really li liking aaron's father's character because you know he is basically taking the punishment for his sister as well but this guy the other guy the other soldier whoever that guy is and i don't care what who he is but he's taking his sister away so i'm pretty sure aaron's aaron's father is going to get even more punishment by the time he returns that was smart not taking off your armband. That was not take that was smart not taking off your and Eldin walking outside with her armbands mean getting sent to paradise even if it's just a kid you a kid you know. I should be getting back. Wait, you came here to see the airship, haven't you? If you are already here you might as well have look before you leave. My sister wasn't there when I got home. She was found.
dude. She was found in the river the next day. I was busy working, you see. Like I already explained several times, I escorted the girl up to the level ghetto gates. And elder and child shouldn't be walking the street with no permission. I am pretty sure it's not she accidentally fall into the damn river or something. These guys, dude, that it looked like your son doesn't fully comprehend your people' current position. Have you properly educated him on the crimes committed by your ancestors? This is not even them. It's by their ancestors. Oh my god! So something apparently they done it in history. Now they have to. Like their children and grandchildren have to pay for it. If that's not enough, you should consider putting him on a lease. I knew that man from the public security bureau was lying. Those two were slacking off on the riverside. They were anything but busy. Mother was lost in despair and father, we thank you for your guidance. We will apprehend our foolish son and re-educate him so he will not attempt such a fully again was grooving to those men grooving to the man so his father probably understand what's actually happening doesn't matter what you do i don't think there's any change is going to happen so he's just like look at his mother and father reaction like she's she's just she's just she, i don't think she know what's going on around her because all she think probably thinking about her daughter right now but Okay, let's see. I remember the feeling, few hatred toward my father and those men, and even more than that, I cursed my own stupidity. So you can, dude. I have a feeling he's gonna do something crazy to these people. Just look at look at his face. He is shocked, and he is literally staring at that guy who is supposed to. I don't know. He's he's basically letting. Um. He's the one who let. Well, he's the one who let him stay here, but at the same time, the other guy is the one who took and, I don't know if he killed or if she, if they basically let her go in the river and one of those rich guys did this to her. Let's see. One, eight, two years ago, our ancestor Yamir, Yamir Fritz, made a contract with the devil of all earth and in return received an incredible power. It was the power of Titan. Holy shit. So we are getting to know the history. Okay. So Yamir Fritz. Fritz. Okay. It was the power of Titan. After her death, Yamir split her soul up to nine species to be called the nine Titan Wu with their power to build the Elder Empire. Okay, Elder Eldia destroyed the ancient kingdom of the Mere and became the ruler of this continent. So when she died, there was they split her soul, split her soul up into nine species to be called the nine titans, who with their power to build the Eldian Empire. Eldia destroyed the ancient kingdom of Marley and become the ruler of this continent. Okay, so this is explaining everything now. Survey Cops will know everything by the time we finish reading this book. That's when the Dark Ages began. The people of Yamir who held the power of Titan declare all other races to be inferior and began their obsession. They took their land and properties, even make many races become extinct entirely. The Eldian forces other people to bear them, bear them children, thus in, increasing their numbers. This process of ethnic cleansing went for about 1,700 years. Okay, so these nine basically increased. They, they want to basically increase their race. So if you look at the pictures carefully, basically there's people who is taking women, just the women, and there are some women who is dead, 
I don't know why they did and okay there's one guy who's just stabbing the woman I have no idea why so if you go to page 18 if you see this panel over here there's like basically a woman getting stabbed and then woman laying down and then women's are like forced to move so wonder why they're getting killed though if they want to carry the children they're probably just gonna rape but why are they getting killed it's those of women who refused okay let's see but the Eldian Empire grew too arrogant and did not realize that the formerly kingdom of Merli began to plot against it from within eventually Merli succeed to bring about the civil war which lead to the waking weakening of Eldia so Eldia is weakened because uh, Merli began to you know they plotted and they successfully did this so moreover they were able to take seven out of their tight nine titans holy shit they were able to take out seven titans under their oh under their control and 80 years ago they won what not known as the great titan war so they were able, they didn't even take out seven they were able to take control of the seven titans and so they won that not known so, I mean, now known as the Great Titan War. So the place, the only place left for the King Fritz and his subjects was an island, the island of paradise. So there, so there they escaped building three layer of wall around them to protect. But they didn't take everyone we a fraction of the normally Eldians were overlooked and left behind on the mainland wait so this is the place where Aaron is currently living right now so King Fritz okay I'm just gonna search something quickly on Google so Frit 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 if uh, wait who's what's Historia so Historia races so it's it's not the exact same king so I wonder why Okay, uh, let's read. They're going to probably give us some further explanation. But they didn't take everyone. We, everyone, we a fraction of known med So we, so they took them. LDN were overlooked and left behind. Known median LDNs. Okay, so they left the known Merlian LDNs. Merlian LDNs. So they basically only took the Mel Merlian. Merlian. So millions can kill us all at any time if they just so please. That is our current position. Oh, that is because we are the descendant of the devil. The generous people merely spared our lives and even gave us place to say. My father was surprisingly talk active, talk active for the someone whose daughter was just murdered. Defending his master's excuses excuses willing to accuse his own ancestors he looked like nothing more than a slobbering dog that man was lying he didn't want to get in trouble so he was lying that man knows something be quiet these walls are thin that man must have killed shut up so just like I predicted, basically they actually died. I mean, he he probably pushed her in the water, or he did something. I don't know if that's fun for him. He could have overlooked because this is just a damn child. I mean, he's a freaking animal. That's that's simply how I put it. But his father, Aaron's, I mean, Aaron's great, no, Aaron's grandfather is kind of like. It seems like he just accepted, okay, because our ancestors, we have to go through this. Because they let us live, we have to, you know, be polite to them. I'm like, okay, but it's just, you haven't done anything. So, but he's just, he's just grateful they let him, let them live. So, let's go and see. So, he's shocked. I told you, our ancestors come into a great, they believed in the the blood of the devil runs in our veins. Fay and I weren't doing any of that. See, this is what exactly I meant. Like, he knows, like, 
you know, this is not what they done. It's why do they have to suffer because of their ancestors, like great, great, great granddad or whatever, great grandmother. So we are just walking around the town. What are you doing? You want me, me and your mother to be sent to paradise along with you? Is that what you want? So what's Aaron great father? Great father? Oh my God. I, I suck at this. What Aaron's granddad want is to basically live. That he, he don't care. He don't care about like, I don't know, anything. He just want to live. But what Aaron's father want is basically true justice. So let's go to the next page. Now he just cried and is like, all his take is a rumor that the Jaeger family hold a grudge against the Public Security Bureau and we are all done. Okay, listen, Grisha, even if we didn't perform any of those crimes ourselves, if you look at it from the victim's historic point of view, that doesn't matter. All we can do is keep living in this ghetto in modesty and silent. I beg of you, don't make your father and mother meet the same fate as your sister. So the basic, the summary of this is, this is bullshit. Okay, first this is complete bullshit. Aaron's, okay, or oh, Krisha's father, basically all he want to do is live. He know his daughter got killed by those two soldiers. I'm going to start swearing if this is going to keep going. The two daughters, I mean, two daughters, those two soldiers kill his daughter. His mother is... I can see in her face, she is so sad that this, she probably gonna cry anytime soon. I mean, she, she probably like run out of tears. That's how she seems like she is really worried. Even Grisha, he's, he's, he is super shocked the way his father is living. So from the photo, we know they actually, you know, well, Grisha, it seems like they're living in a fancy castle. That's why it seems like, you know, with the, all the chairs and everything. So how did they get from this day to that? So it must be Grisha, he probably worked really hard to work this out. So let's go and see how this goes. So he's like, okay, I wonder which of us was in the wrong. Was it me? Was it this world? It was probably both. Got it. I was foolish and ignorant. And the world was unfair and mad. Oh, God, these, I swear, these humans... They are stupid, I swear. Most of the humans are stupid in this world. All they do is, I don't know, look down on other people. They don't, they just judge other people because, I don't know, it's stereotype. So, if you look at this, they, this guy just threw a damn bottle at uh, Grisha. And I'm like, why? Okay, sorry, I'm putting, putting too much, I mean, getting too much emotional. I was 18 when I found my path. It was around the time I was about to succeed. My father clinched with a complete indifference. How did you get that cross scar shaped scar? It's a symbol of my people. Oh, your sister was murdered by a Marceline's officer. We have an information in the Marley government. That's what he told us. So wait, this dude randomly popped up. Okay, so in my laptop is running out of juice. So this person, who is this person? I don't know. So this person with the cross mark, he's saying, your sister was murdered by a merciless officer. We have an information in the Merlis government. That's what he told us. Who? So basically, if you see this person over here, so he's telling Krisha that basically your sister was murdered and we have the information in the the government so let's see what's gonna happen if you join us the Eldian rest restaurant movement restoration movement and lend us your ability i could tell you more i was trained in medicine and held a deep graduate against the mali government knowing those two facts this underground anti-government organization calling themselves the Eldin Restoration Movement came to recruit me. And there I learned the truth of my sister's death and I saw
dude i swear to god this this is cruel this is you know the first episode of attack on titan this is exact same cruelty as eran uh, faced where his father is facing right now just i swear to god if i if i was there i would beat the shit out of these people just just look at this they using a freaking dog a dog to kill him, and they are enjoying it look at it it's like a hunting it's like okay that's what i told them who the true devils were our ancestors was in the wrong in order to make the world right again we had to bring elden back to the power so it's it's just plain cool you look look at error uh, he's basically putting the marks on that's basically the anti-government so if you look at this he's putting the anti-government marks on and if you look at over here he's like if you hear this story if your sister was murdered by a freaking dog as a like a fun hunt like who wouldn't cry look he, he is pissed like i said if i was there i would beat the shit out of them so he is basically joining the anti um whatever that uh, eldin no no eldin marley's marley's the knowing the so they were just fighting again basically fighting against Mali. okay so our information inside the Mali's government was known as oval without ever showing us that his face he led the restoration movements he supplied us with the weapons funding and also provide some historical documents which present the LDN didn't know anything about look this is the truth so basically there's someone who called oval is providing everything i have a feeling that's the um gorilla titan basically beast titan so look this is the truth our ancient yamir awakened by the titan power turned wasteland into fertile field built roads erected bridge between the mountains so if you see this panel over here, okay, I'm going to read it, then I will show it to you. Which means what Yamir gave the people world wealth and riches. She helped the people make this land bountiful and advanced. So basically the history being rewritten. So if you look at this, basically this is the same principle they used to hold the wall. So I guess this is where they go and then turn into, I don't know, the what form again basically they turn their shell into hard form and then they just leave it there so that's basically the bridge they are holding the bridge those titans so i knew it everything they taught us in school were lies devi devised by the merely government to help further their own agendas agendas that's right even if there were those foolish enough to believe them as the true elden people will never be deceived Good job on reading this Asian dung is Grisha. Actually, I still can't dispute most of them. Then how did you read the truth? You can tell them right away, can't you? Because I have faith in our mother Yamir. We are the chosen people, the children of God, the people of Yamir. Okay. Because it's the name Yamir, I don't know how it's connected to our our Yamir, you know, our girl Yamir. See, she's awesome, okay? everybody like her i'm pretty sure even even she did some okay i don't know she did kill some people but yummy yummy is also so right now so i don't know why they named her after yamir and it's it's really going to be interesting i have to go and check in yamir's history once again to just to see what like her father looks like probably it's one of these guys is her father and also this guy over here i don't know if he is the actual the other guy who is supposed to be uh, close to uh, grisha this this dude over here because he seems one of the main characters so i don't know if he's he is not the one the beast titan right i don't know let's go and see so commanders our oval send us someone nice to meet you all it's it is truly an honor to meet many who share our course my name is dine fritz i'm a descent of the royal family i was being led by fed and i'd interest my completely to your hands wait dine fritz she kind of look like yamir 
she looked like one of those titans as well so Dina Fritz okay I can't remember her I don't know if she is something related to somebody let's go and look I don't know if that sees the photograph let's let me let me let me let me let me let me look at it later so when even everyone was making their escape to the island in the closing years of the great titan wars there was one branch of their royal family that refused to leave and stayed on the mainland from the descendant of the family she alone was still alive her family never gave up hope and was always waiting for Eldia to race back to power. They were hiding along with information held by the royal family regarding to titans in the ghetto. The information she was bringing to the restaurant's movement was invulnerable to our path to victory. There's no doubt about it. I combated with the information Oval was leaking us from the Mali government and the answer is clear. The key to revival of the Eldian people is the power of the original Titan carried into the walls by the Fritz. So original Titan is the one the Titan control the others. That's the power the Eren currently have, I'm pretty sure. So the original Titan can control and manipulate all the other Titan. If we could just get that power, we could race against Strike, Merle, and destroy them. But if King Fritz has such an incredible power at his disposal, why would he turn back and retreat to the island? That's because he refused to fight. Oh, wait. So this is, if you remember, Ray's family, like nobody decided to fight because everybody just want to live a peaceful life even though they had the power to control the titan. So, let's see. From the start, the great titan war began when the 145th king inherited the original titan power. Before, Even before that, there was a long period of time turmoil between a different clans that tore the eight titans apart. Still, Still, the royal family was able to preserve balance in Eldia by pres presenting the titan, the power of the original titan. But the 145th king failed to uphold this duty and move the capital to distant land. My family refused to compromise on that matter and became separated from the rest. So, if you look at this, this is the prob I'm pretty sure this is what we saw in, uh, well, beginning of season two, if you remember. So, this is basically the Titans are holding and they are building wall around it. So, let's see. My family refused to compromise, and then I became separated from the rest. These miserable times, these hardship that we endure all started because the king turned his back on us let us fight what needs to be done is clear as crystal we will take back the take back the original titan's power from the king who abandoned us and we went hiding behind his walls and offer us offer back the power of the original titan the true royal family that stayed on the mainland for the Eldian people. My commanders, let us bring down Marley, set the right lies on lies of history. Bring back Eldian pride. My commanders, we will fight until the day that Eldian nation is born again. Okay, so this is really interesting. So the king, ba uh, the basically the descendant of the um, the clan, basically they got married, and we were blessed with the son. His name is was Ziki. Royal blood run through his veins. Surely this child will lead us to victory. So Ziki. Wait. Don't tell me Ziki is the guy with the beast titan. That will be really interesting. So, moving on to the next one. Along with this time, the people change. 
while the world was developing in rapid race, the LDN restoration movement was reaching its turning point. So right now, if you look, this is the photograph we saw, you know, Aaron and everybody saw. So Aaron has a brother called Ziki. Well, stepbrother, I guess. So listen up, people of LDR. We, the Mali government, shall recruit Mali soldiers from among the cursed people of Yamir. We have received word from the devil king Fritz, who escaped to the island of paradise. The Eldia will soon dominate the world and once again regain over this continent with the terror and fear. We must crush these evil ambitions. We must prepare in advance and carefully choose the soldier from the various ghettos to scatter around the continent. Okay, so basically what they're saying is from the war they're going to come back and fight? Well, I don't see that happening. I mean, I can't... Wait, they received a word from them. I don't know if this is about survey corps. So this continent. Let's see. Those eligible to be chosen are girls and boys of good health from the age of age of five to seven however only selected few will be chosen this is because they must be worthy vassals to inherit the power of seven titan which are currently under the mali's government control the selected few to be chosen will be given the title of honorary Malays, and we guarantee their freedom in this country ldn this is your chance to show us your loyalty so I'm pretty sure in that time everybody gonna just rush because they, they wanna you know be proud well they wanna have a freedom I guess so they probably all gonna rush. What is the meaning of this? Did King Fritz declare war? No, that is hard to believe. What in the world? It's here a message from Ovo. Let me read it. The Merli government is making a move because they want to gain advantage in upcoming era in which struggle for resources is expected to begin. As you well know, military technology advanced remarkably in recent years. The day is near where the power of the seven titans which make modern day merely a world lead leader will become obsolete. For an era which a military power backed by few will set about the score to begin. When preparing for such an era, one can no longer afford to ignore the Paradise Island, so said to be in territorial towards fossils of fuel. Okay, so where in this island they have a lot of fuel. By taking over Paradise Island at the time would not be an easy task. Although not a word was heard of King Fritz since close himself in the in the wall. Eight years ago, he left a following message behind. If you ever disturb us again, the millions of Titan standing deformation within our wall will lay a waste to an entire earth. While this threat still stands, no matter how many people you have attacking from front would be impossible. Which means the Mali government was objective is the same as ours to get inside the walls without provoking King Fritz. Okay, so this is turning out a plot and retake the power of the original Titan. What do we do? At this rate, our plan will, in a few years, Mali will have their power of that the power in their hands. If that happens, it's all over. Eldia will never see the light of day again no there's a still way we will have ziki become the mali soldier and thus interest my son with the lds people's hope i send him to swear an oath of loyalty the economic and become a mali soldier by doing so i was being known known less a fool than i was that day in my childhood i was no less of a fool than I was that day in childhood. Around the time my son turned seven, he betrayed both me and my wife.
to the Merliga. Dude, this... Of all the members of LD and Restoration Movement who are sent to paradise, he betrayed both me and my wife to the Merli government. All the all of the members of the LD and Restoration Movement were sent to paradise to roam the island of the paradise as a man-eating titan for the rest of eternity. LDN eating their following LDN at the beginning of the most terrific terrible of doomed in this chapter this chapter is one of the darkest chapter you i i ever read in attack on titan so so basically they all were turned into a titan and sent it to paradise so the basically to the island but how did aaron's father escaped so all of the movement of the ldn restored movement was sent to paradise to roam the island paradise as a man-eating titans for the rest of eternity. LDN eating their fellow LDN, the beginning of the most terrible of tragedies. So, including his mother? Why the hell did his son do that? Okay, I'm probably going to find out about the, more about this in the next chapter. So this has turned out to be really interesting. Again, guys, if I make any small mistake, few mistakes, make sure to comment below to, you know, correct me. Uh, oh, shit, it took 40 minutes to, or, more, or more than 40 minutes to record this. So really sorry about that for the long record. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I will upload more regularly. So we will catch up eventually. And then the next one should be arriving soon because this is already June. So the next chapter should be coming soon. So I hopefully get to that chapter. Well, I mean, I can catch up all of this before that chapter. So let me know your thoughts, your reaction. Because so these are the guys who are basically roaming to fight a titan. So is that mean all the titans that coming in to fight a uh, wall basically where Aaron Slip is basically one of those Eldians that got turned into a titan? And when the beast titan basically came in, I'm pretty sure that's his son. So that beast titan that came in. I, I don't know, I'm guessing. That's probably his son. Or the Oval must be uh, the, basically the final, I mean the Oval must be the Beast Titan. So they came into the territory and turned, for example, Connie's mother, because I'm pretty sure they are also LDN, right? So since they also got turned into Titan, so I'm pretty sure that's, um, that's basically this revenge thing going on. So I'm looking forward to more of this chapter. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to see more Attack on Titan. And if you have any feedbacks for me, like, comment below. I will check it out later. Anyway, people, have an awesome day and see you guys with more videos.